Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to talk about generic arrays. Uh, a generic array is actually another way of creating an array and it is going to have a different syntax. Uh, let's say we have an array of nums and uh, I wanted to basically only contain numbers. This array, I wanted to have only numbers. Now the syntax for that is array itself and then that weird HTML thing and within there we need to specify the type. And now I'm sure you're getting more, more used to it. I did zoom out, let's zoom in. And I forgot to show you how generics are translated or <laughs> compiled to JavaScript. They're not translated. Cool. Uh, since generics are remnants of type, um, type safety, type features, they're compiled away when we when we jump into JavaScript. So if you write generics in TypeScript, they're not going to have any direct code in JavaScript, as you would expect. Now this thing, this is a generic array. Now a generic array. This syntax is the same as the syntax that we have talked about before. And I'm going to give you an example of that. So I'm going to say this is a number array. Now these two type annotations, it's the same thing. If you find this interesting, use that. If you find this interesting, use that. And I can show you that they are the same thing. Nums. So these two variables, they are the same thing. They have the same type. If I hover on this, it's number. You can see uh, it's the nums identifier, the number, and if I have around this, it's the same type. They're the same thing. And we can also create a generic array of strings, names, again, big array, weird HTML syntax, and then string inside of them. And you could say Jane as well as John Doe. Cool. Um, we can also create uh, multiple data types using generic and generic arrays. And I'm going to give you an example of that. Let's say stuff. And for this one, we're going to use the same thing. So we have an array. Now, what type do we want this array to contain or to have? We want a number or a string. We're going to use the union type. So now I could provide a number or I could provide a name. That's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.